So let me start with the first question on our panel here today, and the first one is going to go to Ms. Tammy Fitzgerald. And Tammy, let me ask you to respond. You have been leading the campaign in North Carolina to pass the marriage amendment. Your work goes years back in uh, lobbying there to the legislature, but now on the front lines of helping to see this passed. Would you just share today with us why should the people of North Carolina even be concerned about this, and what do you see as at stake in this issue? Well, thank you, Dr. Harris, and I want to thank Dr. Aiken for inviting us here today. Um, when I was here last, I was sitting in the same seat you're in, Dr. Aiken, watching my daughter marry Chad Barefoot, a graduate of your mm -hmm. seminary. So it's a pleasure to be here. But there is a lot at stake for our citizens in North Carolina. And I brought a few slides to just show you because a picture speaks a thousand words, but what has happened in our state and across the country in other states is what will happen in North Carolina. Activist judges and legislatures in states across the country have ushered in same-sex marriage without a vote of the people. And even though the, the, the laws in those states have prescribed marriage as between one man and one woman. The people have had no choice when a judge has issued a decision overturning the marriage laws of the state. And so where we are now is that we have eight states and the District of Columbia that have same-sex marriage. And any couple, any homosexual couple married in one of those eight states or the District of Columbia could move to North Carolina and sue to have their marriage recognized by the state of North Carolina. So that is the danger that we're in because we do not have constitutional protection for marriage. And so um, what has happened in other states is now happening in North Carolina. In September of last year, the We Do campaign was an orchestrated campaign on behalf of, of homosexual activists in our state uh, going to the courthouse in Asheville for two weeks in a row to be married. And of course, they can't get married here because it's not legal. We have good, strong marriage laws, but that's the whole point. They're just statutes. And so they were turned away. And this is what normally happens right before um, a lawsuit is filed. And in fact, a lawsuit has been filed. In uh, December, activists in Guilford County filed a lawsuit challenging the marriage laws of our state and they've asked the court there to overturn our two good marriage laws because uh, they want to take the state out of the licensing business for marriage, they want to take preachers out of performing marriage ceremonies, and they want to have same-sex marriage in North Carolina. So what has been told to us for years by previous administrations in the General Assembly is that this is not California, this is North Carolina. We would never have an activist judge overturn our marriage laws. Now we have an actual threat to our marriage laws. And so it's imperative that we, that we uh, pass the Marriage Protection Amendment. Okay, thank you very much. 